Anybody home? Jack, it may as well be the moon out here. If there ever was anybody home, they've been gone a hundred thousand years or more. This world is most definitely Tarlock. Though it once supported life, it is now extinct. Well, the probe picked up an EM source coming from something. My guess, that thing. At the same EM frequencies we picked up from the probe. Sir, this artifact or whatever it is is definitely the source. Are we in danger? No, sir, I don't think so, not at the moment. But, I mean, this is incredible. If Daniel's right, this artifact has been doing this since Neanderthals were still a dominant species on Earth. Oh, that takes me back. Look at this writing of some kind. It's so tiny. What does it do? Well, it's maintaining an interior temperature of 33 degrees Fahrenheit. It's generating an electromagnetic field and emitting small amounts of alpha, gamma, and delta radiation. Well, I knew that. Why does it do that? I'm trying to make a threat assessment here, Captain. Uh, I don't know what it is, sir, but it's got a power source more advanced than anything we've ever come across, including the gold. It's a time capsule. Well, that's an educated guess, but imagine your civilization is facing a great cataclysm. The end is coming, you know it. I mean, wouldn't you leave something behind? Something that told whoever came after who you were? Or how you died. Yes. I mean, imagine what you could learn about your own fate. When a Goa'uld's world is taken by another in battle, he will sometimes leave behind the means to destroy the Conqueror. You think it might be a booby trap? Booby? Well, I, I don't think we're talking about the gold here. I mean, whoever this civilization was, they went to great pains to leave this artifact behind. Like a message in a bottle. You buying this, Teal? The benefit may outweigh the risk. Earth could sure use a power source that lasts for thousands of years. All right, pack it up. Let's go home. Yes, sir.